September the 12th, 1907, if you read any newspaper in Britain, you'd have been aware of the Camden Town murder. Emily Dimmock, she's a, a young woman, a prostitute, and she's found in her room with her throat slashed. You can imagine Persicot, who lives round the corner. Round the corner. This is absolutely fascinating. God. And he paints this amazing canvas that captures the moment, the Camden Town murder. And it's one of his most evocative paintings. It's brutal and horrible and also very, very affecting. I've seen this image, but I didn't think it was to do with a murder. Well, what, one of the fascinating things I think about this picture is that it's subtitled, What Shall We Do For Rent? And so it becomes universal. It's, it's not just about this mur yeah, murder, yeah, yeah, but it's, it's about the kinds of sacrifice that were necessary for young women who had fallen on hard times. And this is Sickert saying, this is the cost. Yes, he's, say, he's like reminding you behind the headlines. We forget, we read headlines. They don't have that impact sometimes until you think of the real person. Yes. There's very little to prepare the viewer of the age for the shock that is the Camden Town murder paintings. Are they simply nudes? Or is he elevating murder to an operatic scale? Prior to this, depictions of murder were cheap, thrilling affairs found in magazines like the Illustrated Police News, almost comic in their melodrama. The contrast of Sickert's work is astonishing. Still, cold and full of regret, it's all too real to take him. And that is exactly what he's trying to convey here. This very is the real cost. responsible painting, isn't yes. it? Very morally responsible painting. And yet, there's every chance that Sick had only titled the paintings The Camden Town Murder well after he completed them, in order to garner some fresh outrage to publicize the work. A touch more notoriety to gild his legend. This is the old eagle. It's still a pub as well. It's where Emily Dimmock worked. She was a barmaid. Yes. You can imagine just how it was in that period. I can and... hear the barrel of it. <laughs> <laughs> and there's something about those histories, the histories of the working class, that are so easy to forget, mm -hmm. but also systematically, so many historians that they seem to want to actually exercise them from our consciousness because they're inconvenient. And Walter Sickert is determined that we don't forget, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. and he captures them not just beautifully, but majestically, that we remember that these were working girls, but they were human beings. <laughs> <laughs>